What's up guys, it's Ray and I wanted to take a trip down memory lane where I was a young 18 year old who probably couldn't tell you the difference between my credit score and my online FIFA score. So picture me making a frozen delicious pizza in front of an oven without an idea on exactly what adulthood would entail. I never had a video like this to watch and I wish I did because over the years after becoming, I would say in my head, successful, I've come up with the five key principles that will really transform your view on money, your financial success, and I can guarantee you'll be a well-rounded adult after this video. So stick around. If you like this video at any time, please hit the like button and let's get started. Principle number one is commit or quit. And I'm talking about your romantic partners. You do not need to be wasting time, casually dating, finding random partners. You want to be like a superhero trying to find the romantic partner to build their story together. As you've seen on this channel before, Felicia and I have built businesses together, I've owned homes together, I've flipped those homes together, and it's that type of partner that you need to support you when you aren't doing as well, or when you are doing very well. These are the things that you need to look for in a partner to commit with, who's ready to commit with you 100% on your dreams. If you're just finding random people, random girls, they are not going to build that story with you. They're going to distract you, get in the way, and then at the end of the day, you're left with nothing. Think of it like this. It's choosing between let's Netflix and chill together or let's build an empire together. Your romantic partner with you is like leveling up in a game together. You guys are on this quest together going through each problem together, tackling each problem together, as you guys are succeeding together, building yourselves up to the top. As one partner may be a little bit weaker, the other one's a little stronger, you guys can pull each other up together. I know it sounds corny, but I've lived through it myself, and it's probably one of the best things that I've chosen to do. You are investing so much time, energy, and money into this person, you better make sure they are ready to commit to you 100% for you to build this empire together. This, for example, is like the difference between binge watching a series and building a home. The difference is here, the binge watching, and here. If you are stuck with random casuals, you are binge watching your life away. If you are finding the right partner to build with you, you are building a home together. By home, I mean empire, business, financial success, financial freedom. Keep that in mind because there's people that can make or break your success. There's people that will bring you down with them into their shit, or there's people that will bring you to the top with them as well as you can bring them to the top. Principle number two, style for success. You need to start dressing for the part you want, not for the part that you're currently living in. Always overdress for any event. It becomes your character. There can be an 18 year old who is dressed professionally and looks 30. There can be a 30 year old who's dressed childish and looks 16. You need to find the perfect balance for you without going overboard. There's no need for labels. You need to stop being an advertisement for other people's brands. It's like enjoying a good meal without shouting out that you're enjoying this meal. You simply are cool, calm and collective. Because your simple clothing attire can be cool without screaming, look at me. 
and I was a problem with this phenomenon where I needed to always have name brand items, name brand hats, shoes, anything that made me look like I had the money to spend, I would spend it on name brand items. And to be honest with you, the people wearing the name brand items are usually the people throwing off the money they don't have. Truthfully speaking, you will grow into formal wear. I know right now it looks weird, you know, buying a power suit, but in time, you know, when your outfits become a little bit more mature, those power suits won't look as weird or awkward on you. You will need them to make powerful business moves, meet with important people, start businesses at banks who you want their money. You need to be taken seriously. So you will need the, to don that powerful black fitted suit that, you know, people just kind of know that it was tailored to you. You don't want to just go buy a suit off a rack for uh, the cheapest price and walk around like a box. You want something that fits you, that you didn't break the bank to buy. There's a perfect balance. I still wear suits that are not expensive, but they're tailored to your body. And that's the biggest point. They have to fit well, they don't have to be expensive, and that's pretty much the name of the game, to balance out the suit game. When you don't have any money, buy something that fits correctly. It is almost like when you wanted to sneak into a movie for that was rated for older people. You're almost sneaking into success when you start dressing the part. Principle number three, invest early and invest now. You have nothing to wait for. You have nothing to lose. You have all the energy in the world. And I'm trying to be as blunt and as dramatic as possible because this is something no one tells you in school. They tell you as soon as you're done grade 12, go to college, go to university. And that's not the right path for everybody. There's no need to go to university or go to college to be successful anymore. I'm not saying don't go, but I'm saying if you don't know what you want to do, do not go until you're ready. Find some work experience, start a small business. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, there's no need to be ashamed for not going to university or college anymore. Because at the end of the day, if you start investing in a business that's, that's a success, you only have up to go. You have no risk. You don't own anything to lose. And I always say to myself, I wish I started my business earlier. I wish I started before because who knows where I'd be at this point if I started five, 10 years before when I started my store. It would be on a different planet right now if I started five, 10 years before the actual time I started. However, you know, I was also young and naive and I followed what everyone else told me, which happens to 99% of teenagers, 18 year olds, young 20 year olds, you name it. People are influenced by teachers, parents, and the media. Because at the end of the day, if you really think about it, those teachers that are telling you what to do with your life, they're making 60,000 a year, which is fine. But if you're looking to make $400,000 a year, why are you taking advice from them? When you go to business school or, you know, you take business courses at university, the majority of those professors have never opened a business. So what I'm saying to you is start now, stop making excuses, stop listening to everyone else. Because at the end of the day, no one truly cares what you're doing. You're going to be the one who has to pay the consequences of delaying all the things that you're supposed to be doing you're gonna to have to be the one that pays the consequences of the instant gratification that you keep pursuing and you're gonna be the one who reaps the benefits of starting a small business that became a success 
And I know you may not have any money right now, but you can start many small service-based businesses with $500, power washing, lawn care, snow plowing, snow plow, never mind snow plowing, uh, snow shoveling. Snow plow is going to be a little bit more than $500. But even starting at farmer's markets with coffee, baked goods, you name it. You can start with $500. Everyone believes you have to start a business with, you know, a bank loan and 10,000 different uh, paperwork uh, mailers to the CRA or IRS, wherever you're from. This is what no one tells you in school. They never teach entrepreneurship in school for this reason, because you're always focused on the nine to five system. And that's what I wish I was told when I was 18. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Even if you fail, you fail fast and you fail when you're young. Like I said before, you have nothing to lose. Principle number four is to focus on quality over quantity in your relationships. You need to find the quality in the people that you're looking for. What do I mean by that? Find the qualities that you know, that you appreciate, that you can respect, that will help you build the empire you're looking to build. You don't need a million different friends to distract you from your goals. You need a few friends that will help you build and that you can trust and that are loyal to you. You don't want those people behind the scenes that are always talking behind your back, no matter what you do, how you do it, if you find success or not, they're ready to laugh at you when you're down, they're ready to criticize you when you're up. You want to avoid those people as much as possible. It goes without saying, and you've heard this before, you are the average of the five people you are closest with. Once you figure that out, you'll find that you can move from your old friends to new friends that build you to be the best you can be. And at this point, you'll realize that throughout these principles, the one common denominator is always you and your choices. You have a choice to earn those stripes. You have a choice to keep the close people that will build you to the top. You have a choice on which romantic partner to choose. These are choices you need to make early, fast, and if you do fail, at least you're early enough where you don't have to lose everything. Because at the end of the day, some acquaintances you'll have to distinguish if they're invited to your party or they're just background characters. Are they just there for a season or are they going to be there with you for life when you're up and you're down? Think of these friends as they are there to hold an umbrella if there's a storm or enjoy the sunshine with you. You can pick them out right now in your life. It's like a teammate who will pass you the ball when you're open, not just when you're convenient to them. There's little analogies that you will apply to your friend group right now that you know there's certain people that need to go and certain people that should stay. And unfortunately, it's going to be very hard to get rid of people that need to go. Eventually, if you get good at the game of quality over quantity, where you have those core people in your life, you'll still be able to have a large circle of influence where if people need something or you can help someone with something, you're that guy to go to. You're that person that people can trust and rely on. And that circle of influence is willing to help you with any business decision, financial advice, financial levels that you need to reach. There's people in place to help you because you've earned that respect that you're not just a person looking for random friends or acquaintances. You're looking for true, meaningful relationships. Principle number five, earning your stripes. This is the key to any business, any financial success, any valuable venture. When you 
Start from the bottom, you learn everything needed. And the problem today and the problem with myself was, we want to start at the very top without going through the grind that it takes, without the undercover and behind the scenes work that it truly takes to become a champion. And everybody knows the unwritten rule of the champion is the behind the scenes work that nobody wants to do. Because no one rolls out of bed and all of a sudden is a master at what they set out to be. There's nothing wrong with starting small and building yourself up to a true valuable business, financial success or adult. This is the problem that I see every single day on TikTok, live streaming. People are trying to skip the hard work and become this overnight success. There is honor in the grind. There's honor in the work that you do behind the scenes. There's honor in learning the craft. It's like when you bake cookies with your grandma. You have no idea what to do. You have no idea what ingredients are needed how long to put these cookies in, you simply listen, show respect to the champion that's standing in front of you who knows how to make these cookies, and you learn slowly, day by day, every time you make these cookies, they're better and better. This is my analogy for earning your stripes, and I hope it kind of gave you a well-rounded picture of you baking cookies with your grandma, because this is the only way to break it down nowadays, I find. Think of something you have no idea on how to make it a success. Shut your mouth, put your head down, start working at it, and you can only get better from there. You can't start at 100, you start at zero. And when you truly make it to the top, you have earned the respect of everyone that you worked with, worked for, and will work the people that will work under you. There is nothing to be ashamed at of starting from zero because I truly can respect the people that started from zero that made something of themselves more than someone who was given a million dollars to start a business. In my personal example, I have a competitor who was given a million dollars to start their grocery store. And then I have another friend who started a cafe from complete scratch from starting at farmer's markets and baking things on the side and sampling their coffee all over the town. I have more respect for the person that started from nothing than the person that was given a handout. And good for you if you're given a handout, but 99% of us won't get that handout. So it's up to you to truly grind and earn your stripes. I'm going to end this video here guys. I hope these five principles will be taken seriously by you. I know I probably when I was 18 to 20, I would have laughed at someone who told me these, but looking back now, I wish I'd taken these seriously. These five principles are something I live by every single day. And to be honest with you, if I put these five principles in effect when I was 18, I'd probably be a multi-millionaire by now. Take that into consideration. Have a good night. Thank you.